de creme de la creme. I miss Carrie. And since I've been missing so many of my friends, Fanny came to join me today for our small group lesson. On the table, you're gonna see cards. If you joined us this morning for circle time, you can probably notice we talk a lot about bumblebees. Well, and that's the cards that I have with me today. I'm gonna need your help. My cards fell out of my hands and they got all mixed up and I need to put them back in the right spot. Can you help me? I have a very small bumblebee. He's tiny. And then I have this middle bumblebee. He's medium sized. And then I have this great big bumblebee. Another word for great big is enormous. We learned that word a long time ago. I hope you remembered it. But I have all these other cards. Can you help me? Does this card belong here? Hmm, are those the same size? They're not. What about here? No, it's the same picture, but the medium bumblebee is still very big. Is this the right pile? It is! Look, they're just the same size. We'll put that there. Oh, and here's my next card. Is that the right spot? They're both kind of big, but this one is not as big. What about here? They no? Oh. Okay. There. All right, yay. Oh, look. It's another teeny tiny bumblebee. Do you remember where we put the teeny tiny bumblebee? Right there. Look. This pile has all three cards. That pile is now complete. Look. This is another very large bumblebee. No. Yes, right there. Oh, you guys are such wonderful helpers. Here, this card. Is that the right? No. Oh. Okay. And this pile is complete. So, there. That's just right. And my last card, Big B, Big B. Now I have three. All my piles are complete now. Thank you for helping me. Did you know that this is not the only thing we can do with our bee cards? If we put them together, we can make a pattern. I like to make a pattern by mixing up the shape or sizes of my cards. So I'm going to put the middle bee there and then I'm going to put the tiny card bee and here's the great big bumblebee. And if I do this all down the row, medium, tiny, big, what would go next? Medium. Medium, tiny, big, medium, tiny. What comes after? Big. That's right. You helped me make a pattern. Friends, this is such an easy thing for us to do together. I'm so proud of you for remembering medium, tiny, big, medium, tiny, big. No, not everyone has these cards at home, but you might be able to find some things in your house that you can do a pattern just like this. Blocks, spoons, ask your parents first, anything where you can find different sizes or different colors and lots of those things. Make your patterns any way you like. Group them all together. Or mix them up. A, B, A, B style like we did. Big, small, biggest. Enjoy your time making your patterns. Thanks for joining me today. See you soon.